Dr. Kaylin Rigby from Highland Family Medicine is back with us. Doctor, it's great to see you. Hi, good morning. So we're talking about American Heart Month. No better time for this topic than right now. Yes, yes, exactly. Well, because Valentine's Day is next week and because it's American Heart Month, I want to help look after our hearts. Um, cardiovascular disease is the leading cause of death worldwide but a lot of cardiovascular disease is preventable. And let's dive in right on that concept, uh, ways to try to prevent these issues. Uh, looking after our hearts and preventing cardiovascular disease, how do we go about this? Yeah, I actually like the acronym that the American Heart Association uses for their women's health campaign, Go Red. So the G, it stands for get your numbers. So you can ask your doctor to check your blood pressure, your cholesterol, your hemoglobin A1C, which is a marker of diabetes, so that you know where you stand. And then the O, that's for own your risk. So this is the hardest but most important component of preventing heart disease, and that includes quitting smoking, eating healthier, and exercising, moving your body. And then R, realize your risk. So this is something else you can work with your doctor on. We have things like the ASCVD risk score. That's a score that helps us predict your risk of having a heart-related event like a heart attack or stroke in the next 10 years. And then we can work together to come up with strategies to reduce that risk. Hey, and then we... E is educate others. So your family, your friends, those around you about the risk of heart disease. And then D, don't violence. So get those people around you to partner with you, come alongside with you to take steps towards a healthier heart. And I almost jumped in on you there, and I apologize, but I do have to ask, we know in our minds how important these steps are. How can we kickstart some of these great habits? Yeah, yeah, and a lot of these things are hard. So I always recommend just starting small and increase as you go. Uh, first with quitting smoking, um, you can get tools from your healthcare provider, such as medications, nicotine replacement, um, groups and resource to quit smoking. For eating healthier, something small, like um, planning to eat, try one healthy recipe with your family once a week. And then for moving your body, you could try walking, get a walking buddy. Or for Valentine's Day, which is coming up, if you haven't got an activity, you could make it an active one. So you could try hiking, snowshoeing, skiing, rock climbing, and uh, whether or not you have a significant other, you could do those things. <laughs> right. Every step is a step in the right direction. Hey, a final thought about American Heart Month before we let you go. Yeah, of course. So um, as you see all the paper hearts and the chocolate hearts around this Valentine's Day, I hope you remember to take care of your heart. Thanks for having me. Happy Valentine's Day and American Heart Month. <laughs> Dr. Rigby, uh, it's our pleasure. Thank you for such great advice as well. A reminder at home, if you missed any of this conversation, we'll share it online as well. You'll find it at rochesterfirst.com.